Hi YouTube, um, feeling a bit somber today. Um, we've just had a really intense full moon and eclipse. Um, so even though I'm not a woman, that kind of felt like childbirth, um, metaphorically. Um, so yeah, deep release, um, a lot of sadness, depression, um, grief coming up um, and the realization is that um, the old world as we knew it is um, it's, it's 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 over um, and I think before we feel the euphoria and come together and celebrate that um, it's important not to bypass the, uh, the grief and even the rage. <clears throat> uh, we're dependent on this system for so long and it's the only, with our 3D programming, it was the only system we knew and, um, and <laughs> And even the awakened ones, even they to a, to an extent were hopelessly dependent. But now, with what's happening in the world now, there's been a an abrupt unplugging, uh, ultimately for the better, really, because the spotlight is now on the individual to commence the transformation from within and create this new earth. So the ego might not like it, but it is ultimately up to you. Whatever outcome, outcome there is, it's ultimately your creation. So, um, the veil's been lifting more and more by each day. The old matrix has sort of unplugged itself and, uh, and all these emotions that we never really allowed ourselves to feel before are just like finally being felt. <clears throat> A lot of people who are like very emotophobic um, are doing their best to s still try to hold those emotions down and keep it together but actually you know the quaking mess as Alan Watts called it uh, the quaking mess needs to needs to happen you know and allow ourselves to actually feel like we're losing our shit. But that's it. We are losing the shit. <laughs> and we are identified with that shit for so long. Uh, everything that was imposed upon us from the externals uh, since childhood, all this programming, we learn to identify with all that. And then now the rug is being pulled from underneath everyone's feet. And they feel, sh they're quaking, they're shaking, their identities are becoming a bit um, all over the place. But that's because the illusion is falling apart. We're waking up to a new reality and it's quite beautiful. We're shifting into the age of Aquarius, the age of transparency, the age of knowing. The old world was the age of Pisces, which was the age of belief and secrecy or hidden knowledge. Only certain people at the top of the pyramid had the knowledge that were hiding from the masses. 
But since we're shifting into Aquarius, there can be no more secrecy. No stone, no stone can be left unturned. We're moving into transparency. There's nothing to hide anymore. So the real people who are freaking out and are projecting that onto the collective are the people at the top and the forces that they're run by. Uh, this is, they're despairing basically, and they want the people to despair. They want to, to project what they're feeling because in relationships, in dynamics, um, people kind of set you up to feel what they're feeling. So this collective hysteria, this mass panic, is really a projection from what's happening at the top. They are panicking. Because the transparency is coming, total disclosure is coming, and they are shitting themselves. So they're trying to project that emotion onto the collective, which is what we're experiencing now, today. Because um, this, this transparency is coming. And no more secret knowledge, no more hidden knowledge, no more false belief systems that people are hanging on to. It's all about the individual knowing, gnosis, and open source knowledge, knowledge for everyone. It's no longer hidden in plain sight. It's going to be revealed in plain sight. And um, I'm just also feeling a lot of compassion for all Everyone in the game, including the, the agents and the controllers, because ultimately this is just this old world, this old matrix has just been a game. And we've just been playing all these roles, playing make-believe with all these so-called laws and rules and regulations. So yeah, uh, I felt that update was necessary and um, yeah, thank you for listening, thank you for watching and um, may the force be with you. <laughs>